I think I've reached a boiling point. It's been a minute. Master teacher of attraction has reached the boiling point. It has come to my attention that the people wanted to know, the millions of people watching this video haven't digested problems. It has come to my attention that the people want to know how to improve their gut health. Okay, y'all have landed on the best video. On YouTube or on these interwebs. There is no better video. You understand me? There ain't no better article. Everywhere else. On YouTube. They teaching you how to peel a lemon. And that'll make you lose 300 pounds in one minute. They telling you to eat fruit to lose weight. They not telling you that that might F up your liver. Did they tell you that? Well, Master Teacher of Attraction is telling you that because Master Teacher of Attraction has lived it. See, ladies and gentlemen, I'm speaking from experience in this video. I'm the one who almost died from testing all this stuff that's coming out my mouth. Just like Chris Tucker, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Master Teacher of Attraction has been through a lot to get you the information that is inside each and every one of these videos on YouTube that all you guys can go ahead and watch. So now that y'all know that y'all got the realest one on YouTube or the realest one on the internet or what we like to say over here on the Master Teacher of Attraction channel, the realest one on these interwebs. So what the people are dealing with is digestive issues. The first thing we got to pay attention to, and one of the first things that I started doing was with any issue that you have, you need to understand why is it happening so you don't get lied to again. So you don't get lied to by your family. You don't get lied to by your friends. You don't get lied to by random videos and articles on these Google streets. It is so many lies out here lying to you, telling you how to get your digestive system back together. Your gut health, okay? Your gut. Your whole digestive system is made of a whole bunch of complex uh, apparatuses, let's just say. Okay? God knew what he was doing when he designed the human body. Just like he designed the beetle's body. Just like he designed the jaguar's body. And just like he designed the baby of a human. It's still set up pretty similar. It's not the same, but it's pretty similar. All right. So these are the things that we got to understand before we can see how to fix it. What is causing it? The first thing let's talk about is in your mouth. A lot of y'all losing your teeth. You don't know how to take care of your teeth. For most of the history that the human has been on earth, some people since say since Adam and Eve, some people say since the uh, around the dinosaurs was here. I don't care what you say. Whenever we got here, we didn't need no damn dentist to take care of our teeth because we were actually eating and actually knew. What to eat, just like how a catfish can come outside of his mother's in the form of an egg, and it don't need nobody to tell it what to eat in order to keep a healthy mouth. A cow, a baby cow, a baby lion, don't need Google to tell it how to take care of his mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't need it either. You need to start taking care of your mouth. What's causing issues in your mouth? Your dental hygiene. Your dent what what's coming across on your mouth, ladies and gentlemen? Is it a whole bunch of tortilla chips? A whole bunch of hard food, hard candy? A whole bunch of starch that's laying on top of your teeth causing a whole bunch of plaque? Plaque turns to tartar, ladies and gentlemen. You need to stop it from the source. The source is the food that's causing the plaque. Okay, the plaque 
is often built up by bacteria. Okay? You don't want to kill all of the bacteria, ladies and gentlemen. It's a part of the digestive and immune system. I don't care why I don't care what Lysol is telling you. If you want to say something to regurgitate back, go ahead and put it down in the comment section and watch how fast I respond to it. Because what's coming out of my mouth is coming from experience, people. You need to take care of your mouth. If your mouth don't look like mine, if your mouth don't look like mine, you having some issues with your mouth. If you got a whole bunch of spaces in, in between your teeth, there's something wrong and it needs to get fixed. Stop eating so much damn candy. Stop eating a whole bunch of cereal. Stop feeding your children a whole bunch of cereal. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of children already having health issues that's starting in their mouth. The bones, including your teeth, need protein. Where do you get this protein, Master Teacher of Attraction? Well, Master Teacher of Attraction is going to tell you where to get this protein. You don't get it from a pea. Stop believing the hype about these vegetable proteins. Vegetables are a part of a healthy diet if you want them. But you don't have to eat a whole gallon of kale smoothie to get this health that you're trying to get to. It takes very little vegetables if you're eating correctly. Let me if you're doing it right, it takes very little. Sometimes none at all depending on your current health status, your minerals, What's going on inside of your body? If you don't know what's going on inside of the body, inside of your particular body, you can go and get your blood work done. There's multiple labs. There's one called LabQuest right at your local Walmart, somewhere around you, where you can get your blood work done so you can stop listening to people on the internet and really see what's going on with your particular body. Just like I ain't going to tell you when you're trying to get your car fixed, I ain't going to tell you what's going on with somebody else's car to diagnose your car. I'm going to hook up my diagnostic tool, put it into your car's computer. I'm going to read your car's computer, and we're going to see what exactly is going on with your vehicle, not with anybody else's vehicle. You see what I'm saying? So you need to start taking care and giving your bones and teeth, which is a part of your bone structure throughout your body, what it needs. It needs protein, ladies and gentlemen, protein from a meat source. Why do you think they trying to give y'all lab grown meat? That's made from fake meat. Stop believing what they tell me. Y'all know what y'all need to eat. You just need to stop listening to the wrong sources. OK, so once you get past here, you get down the esophagus, get down the esophagus. You come into the stomach, ladies and gentlemen, right here. The second issue that is causing your bad gut uh, health is low stomach acid. Don't y'all notice how each one of these videos that I make? I'm always talking about low stomach acid. If you got one problem going on in one side of your body or in one area, it's going to permeate to all your other areas. If you can't get no nutrients in or if your immune system is down, i.e. the bacteria low in your uh, body is out of whack, balanced, unbalanced, you're going to start having some problems and it's going to start to permeate all throughout your body. So how do you get this back up? Now that you know, you need to focus on getting your stomach acid back up. Stop eating so many damn times throughout the damn t uh, day. Your body only produces so much stomach acid every night. It produces it at night for the next day. If you're eating 6 to 12 times a day with a whole bunch of candy whole holes, a whole bunch of alkaline sugar is going to start to turn your body and your stomach alkaline. What do they tell y'all to do when you got an upset stomach? 
you go get anti-acids. Anti meaning the opposite of acid, meaning acid. So what is it doing to your stomach? It's turning it alkaline. The main issue that is causing the issue is your stomach being alkaline. Don't put nothing down into your stomach to make the problem even worse. You need your stomach acidic. And the other issue this will cause is this will allow parasites and bacteria overgrowth to get past your stomach. Y'all need your stomach to be healthy and on the acidic side. Why does every other creature that God made stomach, especially ones that have a diet of meat in there, have a high acidity in their stomach? That's because God knew what he was doing, not Dr. Google. Dr. Google need to make money. Who got the money? Y'all got the money. Dr. Google needs your attention. Who got the attention? Y'all got the attention. They want both of it. You come on their articles. You come on their stupid little YouTube videos that ain't finna help you with your problem. And then boom, they got you. So you need to fix this. Okay? You fix that by lowering the amount of times that you're eating throughout the day. Stop eating before bed. And then you go ahead and let it build up over the nighttime. Next day... Your body, your body can go ahead and have more stomach acid. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you get that back together. Okay. And then this. Small intestine and the large intestine. A lot of people that eat too many times a day and have low stomach acid start to get bacterial overgrowth down in here that cause you to bloat. Okay, these same people with their belly hanging out will tell you that it's okay to eat 10 pounds of fruit every day. Okay, fructose is not good for your liver. Ask me how I know because I've already been a fruitarian. I've already done what you're trying to do. Okay, it messes up your liver. You wake up every morning on your right side. Your right side where your liver is, and you're like, man, why is it so sore right there? That's because you're eating way too much fructose. So, things like that, it'll cause you to bloat, undigested sugar in the form of fructose, and most people can't digest. Get down here in that small intestine, and it start to cause all types of havoc. You start feeling bloated and everything. Your blood pressure is up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. You start getting headaches up here. It's no good. Okay. It can even get into your large intestine. All right. So now that you know what's causing the poor gut health, and pretty much we already talked about it, you need to have a certain amount of bacteria within your gut. All right. You don't want to eat too much garlic. You don't want to eat too much raw onion, okay? These things are antibacterial, all right? You can find your own balance with your body with how much you can eat of garlic before you start to have uh, bloating issues. The bloating, these symptoms will let you know when you're doing too much, okay? So just find your medium range if you want to continue to eat garlic and onions, So that's up to you. I'm just letting you know that they have antibacterial properties. So just keep an eye on it. All right. So now that you know what's causing it and you know what to stop doing, let me tell you what to do. The first thing you need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is go get into the weight loss course that I have. I'm breaking this stuff down even more complex than what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to keep it basic for you. I'm just trying to help you right here. But how about if I had this in a video form and I had text down below where you can keep coming back to it just in case you forgot. You got another issue and boom, here's a solution right in that course for you. You ain't got to come back to and look all throughout these videos. Oh, when did, Cam- when did Master Teacher of Attraction say this in this big old long video? 
No, I got it right, concise, right in the last damn guide to weight management, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's go and see how do you fix this. The first thing I told y'all was you need to start eating some meat. Okay, I don't care if you like fish. I don't care if you like pork. Okay, the pork that they sell in the store is not the best quality, but they also do sell and we also do have, in uh, at least in the United States, wild boar. Okay? When you look at the difference between the two, you can even see it visually. There's a difference between that wild boar and the difference between that pig that they just feed anything to. Okay? So, whatever it is that you like, fish, um, whatever it is. I showed you guys my blood pressure. You can go to the community tab. I have been experimenting with frying with, um, what is that? I'm going to put it up on here. I'm going to show you the flour that I've been using. And very light, very light coating. And the oil is avocado oil. And I got a deep fryer. And I've been testing, does this really increase my blood pressure and decrease my health? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I post it. My blood pressure and my my numbers are looking fantastic. I'm looking calm, cool, and collected. It's people blood pressure all the way in the 140s in the at, at night. Your blood your blood pressure is supposed to go down naturally at night as your melatonin starts to increase. Okay. People are going to bed with a high blood pressure of 140 systolic. 100 diastolic. Those are bad numbers, ladies and gentlemen. But just because I cut down on the salt, cut down on the salt. When I say cut down on the salt, I'm cutting out the fast food. Okay? And not just that, I'm increasing the potassium. Where am I getting this potassium from, ladies and gentlemen? These are the minerals that we need to sustain our health and our blood pressure. It's not just about cutting down the sodium we need to increase the other minerals we got chloride we got magnesium we got potassium we got other things that we also need to focus on but we don't need to go and stress out and get these things in a pill form individually you waste a whole bunch of money why not just go and get raw milk why not just get that from the meat both of those things have it. If you can digest eggs, why not get it from there? These are nutritional superfoods, ladies and gentlemen, that I am giving to you in this video for free without you even purchasing that last damn guide to weight management. Just go and try that. Try the stuff in this video and come back to this comment section and instead of regurgitating what you always been taught, tell me how this worked. Let me know. So I know I'm not just talking to this wall. Let me know. Because Master Teacher of Attraction has been here for over a decade trying to help y'all. As y'all can see, I'm not even doing this for the money. Because this channel has barely made any money. I'm just trying to make sure y'all good. Okay? So even with fried, aka fried foods, with not a whole lot of salt, just a light coating of salt. Just a light coating of the flour I showed you guys. Fried in avocado oil that I strain to keep it clean. Okay, I strain it with a paper towel and uh, uh, what they call a cleave or a sleeve. It's like a metal strainer that they use to strain pasta. I strain it out every use and I'm able to reuse it so I'm not buying cooking oil every time. Okay, that helps me get in healthy fats into my diet that keep my body lubricated on the inside and have plenty of energy without a whole bunch of carbs. Okay, so I don't need a whole bunch of candy. I don't need a whole bunch of bananas. I don't need a whole, whatever all these uh, sugar sources y'all be saying y'all be needing. I have a very low requirement for me. I get most of it from the raw milk. You see what I'm saying? What is that raw milk doing? Building up the strength of my teeth. It's building up the strength of my bones. Not only am I getting minerals, the calcium is another minerals, uh, ladies and gentlemen. 
not only am I getting that, I'm also getting vitamin K2. I'm also getting vitamin D3 from these food sources that I am naming. Something that most humans are deficient in. So you can increase these things by eating what it is that I'm telling y'all. So y'all can stop losing your teeth, having your teeth get weak on you, having to go spend thousands and thousands and millions of dollars in your dental health regimen. Your food is supposed to take care of your mouth, dental health. You see what I'm saying? So start taking care of it by getting rid of what we was talking about earlier and inputting what we're talking about now. When you get down here to your stomach, we already pretty much talked about how to fix this area. Okay? Cut out the dumb stuff. Input the good stuff. The same thing I was talking about with your mouth is going to help right here. Okay? Letting your body digestive system rest at night is going to allow your liver to heal from all that sugar and fructose. Per, 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 more so the fructose. Okay. They put high fructose corn syrup in so many things that y'all eat, especially if y'all eat fast food every day. They put so much of it in there. Okay. So I'm just here to let you know that that's what they're doing in the food. Some of y'all know it. A lot of y'all know it, but y'all don't really care because you don't know what it's doing. But I'm letting you know what it's doing, so hopefully that helps you kind of at least cut down on it. So you can see your own results, look at your own blood, work, and then you can go from there, okay? Instead of going off a of last, talking about video, talking about a lemon pill to help you lose 30 pounds in two minutes, okay? So I can help save you from the lies. So once you get past these two things, that'll also clear up any bacteria overload. That's unbalanced in here. You ain't trying to get rid of it all. Ain't trying to. Listen. If y'all don't listen to me on this part. I don't know what to do with you. I don't know what to do with you. I might have to throw y'all back out there. In them YouTube streets. Where they saying. They can teach y'all. How to lose 200 pounds. With a pill of a watermelon. Within one minute. I might have to throw y'all back out there. In them streets. If you don't listen to what I'm saying. Right here on this little segment. And within this moment, within this present moment, don't get rid of all the bacteria. I said overgrowth, not all of them, overgrowth. Get it back to a normal homeostasis of bacteria. Microorganisms that God has made to go through the whole cycle of every living creature. Okay. Everything is here for a reason. All right. So. That has helped clear up bloating here. Once you get rid of all the too many breads and bread without being toasted is bad. It will cause a lot of bloating. OK. But we talk about more how to make carbs like that a little bit more healthy. So you can have it every now and then. But generally on this free video, I'm going to just tell you breads and pasta and all them things without fats, uh, like toasted into them or some form of fashion in that type of way is bad for your gut. OK, all gut issues right here is also going to permeate to your skin and you're going to start getting rashes out of nowhere, acne on your face. OK, so if you having skin issues. Look to your gut issue first. All right. And since in turn this is regulating, this large intestine is going to start regulating. Your poop is going to come out easier. When I go to the bathroom at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, or whatever store that, you know, you guys frequent, I be here and you're not, now I go into the men's bathroom. I don't know about you. I don't know what you identify as because that's what people are doing out here. They got them type of mental uh illusions within their mind so whatever bathroom you go into i'm speaking from my perspective i go into the men's bathroom when i be going in there and i be hearing dudes getting ready to release a bowel moment 
they be straining. They be like, oh, 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 yeah, brother. Oh, man. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? All we're doing is using the bathroom, man. You're sounding like you're giving birth. I thought it was a woman giving birth to a child next to me. Listen to what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. I thought it was a child being born in a Walmart bathroom right next to Master Teacher of Attraction. I'm like, you know what? I don't know what's going on with this person. But hopefully they come across this video. Hopefully I put the right tags and keywords down beneath this video so it reaches the right people. I'm getting sick of putting up these videos and YouTube don't know where to show it. So hopefully all this reaches the right person. Do the things in this video. Come back to this video and leave a comment down below how it helped. Because I already have extreme supreme confidence that this is going to help you. Get that doo-doo out. So your stomach start to slim down. It's going to be a lot easier for you to lose weight once you get this thing down. You can't lose weight long term. You can't lose weight long term if you don't got your health together. If you don't got the nutritional building blocks together. Once you got them two things together, your body will start to regulate to its normal weight. Based on the variables, based on the weather outside, based on the temperature, based on the humidity, based on what you put inside your body. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short, but I also want to leave y'all with a little message. If y'all find this helpful, go ahead and share it. I didn't have to do this video to help y'all because as y'all can see, everybody is out there lying to y'all. And now you got a big old gut. You don't know what to do with it. And for the love of God, can y'all stop complaining about you need to lose weight and your big old gut if you still going to drink alcohol? Guess what the alcohol got in there? You remember how I was talking about fructose? You remember what the beer has in there? All of those things are coming from plant sources. Okay, sugar alcohols. What, the, what makes you tipsy? Haven't you guys seen deer off to the side of the road tweaking because they came across some bad berries? That's because it's fermented. It's still the same thing. It's just fermented, so it has greater potency. Okay? What does all that do? It hits your liver, passes through your liver since it hasn't been able to be broken down correctly. It gets to your small intestine, your large intestine. Now what you got what they call a beer gut. Okay, I'm just breaking down how these things happen to you that you having issues with. You had a problem before you came on this video, and now your problem is solved. Go ahead and cut this video off, Master Teacher of Attraction, for the millions of the people watching at home and watching all over the globe.